Hey guys, we're checking out Cinepad by Cinematic Alpha and my friend Andrew Fly. Now, big thank you, Andrew, for sending over these libraries because I love them. And volume one is all about textures of strings. Volume two is more brass-like, but again, textures, long evolving pads. Volume three is granular. And again, we have pads, textures, ambience. Now these are contact libraries. They run on the full contact, not the free player. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what's inside. And of course, we're going to check out lots of sounds. Let's get started with Cinepad Volume 1. Now when you install this library, you'll see that you get a folder structure. And we have instruments, we have motion instruments, and these are more pronounced LFO and more motion, and we'll see that. We also have multis, which are a collection of different instruments playing together. And here you will find, again, normal motion and even extra. So, with that, let's start exploring the sounds. Right, so first of all, the user interface is pretty simple. We have two tabs. First one, the main, you'll see that we have on the left an EQ equalizer with high, mid, and low. On the right side, we have the delay with dry, wet, tempo, and feedback. Now, in the middle, we have beautify, and we also have some controls for the reverb. Let me show you how that works before we continue. Now, you'll see that you can use the mod wheel to create more motion, and that is the animate. Now, the second tab is more effect. So let's see that. And we have the rotator, we have a filter, and we have some crushing options here like bit crushing, we have the sample rate reduction and even introducing some noise. And we can actually create very drone-like sounds if we go a little bit low and use the Beautify.
We also can use the ADSR envelope right here in the middle to shape the sound and how it evolves over time. So we have the attack, decay, sustain, and release to control. Now let's try some of the motion patches. You can definitely hear the difference here. Let's try another one. Now let's explore volume 2 and to remind you that is more woodwind and brass but again still cinematic pads, atmospheric pads and motion kind of uh, feeling. So here again we have the folder structure, we have the instruments, we have the motion instruments, we have multis with normal and motion and so let's get started with some sounds. And again, the Beautify really works well. Now let's try some of the motion patches.
And now let's check volume 3. And to remind you, these are more granular textures. And again, we have the folder structure, we have the instruments, we have the motion instruments, we have multis with normal and motion. So let's get started. And let's listen to a couple of the motion patches in Volume 3. Now let's check out some of the multis. So that was Cinematic Alpha Cinepad Volume 1, 2, and 3. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll be happy to try and answer. And if I can't find the answer, I'll definitely ask Andrew Fly. And I'll see you guys in the next videos. Thanks and bye-bye.